Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Stashkina and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful wafer paper flowers. They are very inspired. I think they're going to work great on any wedding cake design. You can see they are fluffy and so pearless and, and so easy to make. Let's begin. And to make my flower cell, we'll start with one sheet of wafer paper. This is regular wafer paper 0.27 millimeters. And I'm going to fold it in thirds because I find that the easiest way to cut wafer paper is to cut three layers at a time. So that's what we are going to do. We need to cut our petals roughly in three different sizes, small, medium and large. So you can either do this by hand. I will start with my small petal, maybe one inch by one inch size, just basic teardrop shape. For my medium size, I will do probably inch and a half by inch and a half. So you can see the difference in sizes. And for my large one, I will cut a square probably by two inches and I will cut my large petal. And for each flower, you will need roughly 3 to 10 petals. So I would probably cut 2 to 3 sheets of wafer paper at the same time before we'll start shaping our petals. And if you need some guidance how you can cut your petals, you can use your basic rose cutters or teardrop cutters and find sizes that work for you maybe something like this three different sizes and then you can use your wafer paper you can just transfer your shape onto your wafer paper and cut all three petals at a time it depends on the size of your final flower we are going to fry them so make sure that you cut your petals roughly one and a half time bigger than you need to have your final petal because the petal will shrink when we're going to fry them but this is just an idea for you how you can choose your sizes to make your flower and to shape and color my petals i'm going to use this airbrush pearl sheen color because that's the color i'm going for that's the color of my petals if you want to make them pink or any different color it's up to you just use the airbrush or even gel color the shade you wanted to make but i want them to make this be this perilous in color that's why i'm using this pearl shield and water to create this lesson the beautiful mixture and that's the mixture i'm going to use to color my petals before placing them in a frying pan okay so to make my flowers i'm placing just a dry frying pan on the stove and set my heat to medium high then what i have here is my mixture this is airbrush pearl by mirror color and my petals and I'm taking my petals just one by one, quickly dipping in my mixture and placing on my frying pan. My pan is already relatively hot. You can see it takes just a few seconds for wafer paper to curl and become this interesting shape. And you can make as much petals as you want, as long as you can fit them on your pan. And you can see I dip my petals very light and quick. You don't need to have a lot of moisture on your petals, just something to help them change the shape. And when my petals are dry, I'm taking them off my stove and just checking if they are not sticky anymore. Just make sure you're keeping an eye on your petals because they can burn and we don't need to have that. And when they are dry and you can see they're curling this beautiful pearlescent color, they are done. So I'm going to collect my petals, make some more, and then we are going to assemble them and put together our beautiful flowers now that i have my petals already dry and colored you can see how beautiful these petals are i'm going to start assembling my flowers and to make my first layer i will probably need the two small petals like this so this is going to be my first layer and i will take a 20 gauge wire white one because our flowers are white i'm going to cut it in thirds 
So I'm going to use one piece of wire to make one flower. And to start with my flowers, I'm going to make a tiny closed hook on top of my wire. And I will bring my wafer paper glue, which is just melted wafer paper in water. Just water without making wafer paper glue. I prefer to use wafer paper glue because I find that it dries much faster and it's faster to assemble flowers. And I wanted to see how I want my petals to go. Probably something like this. So I'm going to apply a touch of wafer paper glue on the bottom just a small amount place my wire and sandwich with another petal gluing these petals to my wire because i apply a small amount of wafer paper glue my flowers are a little bit more flexible and i can adjust them as much as i wanted to so this is going to be my first layer and you will need to leave it to dry for maybe a minute or so until we can attach other petals and for my next layer I'm going to take several medium-sized petals and again use our wafer paper glue applying small amount only where I want my petal to be attached to my wire and to my flower and I usually apply a little bit of wafer paper glue and leave it to sit for a few seconds because it will soften wafer paper enough to attach without breaking and i will try to see where i have my s shape or my pattern and how it wants to go and i'm going to gently press my wafer paper and attach them to my first layer so to leave it to dry and to maintain the shape i will put it upside down and if I wanted to, I can add more layers later. And to attach my last layer, I took my largest petals. And I'm going to do the same process. So it goes very easy when you have all your petals already remade. And I want this flower to be a little bit bigger and fuller. So I'll take all of these six petals with a paper very easily sticks to itself so you shouldn't have any problem attaching these petals to a previous layer of with a paper petals and if it's a little bit soft just give it a minute to dry and it will be ready to assemble so here is my flower and i will leave it to dry again and then we can assemble everything on the cake and now i have my flowers and you can see some of them are full size or like larger ones and some of them just few petals this is four petals but they will go nicely together as a branch and next step what we are going to do is we are going to tape them i'm using just white floral tape and covering my stems or creating my stems and then i'm going to put them together i'll start with the small one just a touch piece of floral tape i'll add the next one next size and now i have my branch with white wavy paper flowers and it looks very full and beautiful and so bridal and pearlescent I really like it and it's easy to put on the cake because we have everything on the wire so we need to use a cocktail stick or a safety seal something like this and you can place it on your wedding cake and you can make a lot of these flowers in advance and just assemble them when you have your cake ready to be delivered now you know how to make this beautiful flowers i hope you'll make a lot of them and put them on your cake if you're going to post on social media don't forget to tag me as astashkinacakes.com and if you like this tutorial check out my website astashkinacakes.com and learn more about working with wafer paper i'll see you next week same time same place bye bye